Mm. Mm, peanut butter. This flea market man is, is sponsored by Magic Spoon. I loved cereal as a kid growing up. Eating it every day before school, or watching Saturday morning cartoons, but it was full of sugar and junk that I probably shouldn't have eaten. Because of that, I'd given up cereal for the past few years, but I always loved cereal, so I needed a solution that was both healthy, but also still yummy. That's where Magic Spoon comes in. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. There's also only 140 calories. This tastes amazing. It's honestly too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. The flavors are great. I'm eating peanut butter, but there are also other original best-selling flavors. There's cocoa, fruity, frosted, plus other ones like cinnamon and blueberry. And Magic Spoon drops limited edition flavors all the time. This is super nutritious and it's delicious and it tastes just like the cereal we had during childhood. Click on the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code COUNTRY for $5 off. You can choose from the best selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter flavors, plus other awesome flavors, including blueberry and cinnamon. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. And for my Canadian fans, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada, all right! So click the link below and use the code COUNTRY for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash country to save $5 off your order today. Get going, grab yourself a bowl of Magic Spoon. Mmm. His name is Pat, and he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday. You'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh, yes, it's Flea Market Madness. Bobby Bop Bum. I'm back with another flea market madness. This time it's a solo trip without Frank and... Oh, no, 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 don't click away! What's your PlayStation games? How much is that uh, GoBoss truck? 15 15 Yeah, I had the little ones as a kid. You get back here, Tom, and look at these toys. There's a lot of toys here, including G1 Transformers and some G.I. Joe stuff. How much is in there? Holy crap. Yeah, there's even a few Chuck Norris figures. I have this one as a kid. Yeah, that's Thrust. Had him as a tyke. Would have picked him up if he was complete. Oh, well. I don't think this is a Transformer. I'm holding a G1 Soundwave. Always wanted him as a kid. I was jealous of others that had him. Back, uh, it's a Star Wars mini vehicle. Yeah, there's a few cats yeah. from my childhood Voltron set. You getting these ones here? Yeah, I'm going to those. You're going to grab the cassette? That's the one with the, <laughs> one with the arms on the ground. You need it for your son, huh? Oh, you got the Chuck Norris figures? You getting those? <laughs> he said, I just wanted Chuck Norris itself. <laughs> what are you asking on those unmarked ones here? I found the trailer for Optimus Prime. I picked up the figure way back at a New Jersey flea market. 10, maybe 5 for this one because okay. it doesn't have the hand. And 5 for the this one. Okay. And 10. So it's like, let's see. 25, 30. 30 for everything? How much for your G.I. Joe's? Uh, $3. This looks like all the toys that one 80s kid owned. Kind of sad to see it all here, but eventually, you know, things get sold or thrown away. I picked up several Transformers for 40 bucks. I'm not an expert on these at all, but I think I got a good deal. Now, what are you asking on your slot cars? I'm asking 125. Wow, this is old. Yes, very. It's got the cars here. Wow. What are you asking on this? Um, that one is five. Found a GoBots Rogun cap gun. It's missing pieces and beat up, but I'm buying it anyway since my dumb cousin Dennis never let me play with his when I was four. Uh, well, who's who's laughing now, Dennis? Yeah, yeah, that's how sick I am. Stumbled across a bunch of Commodore 64 software, games, and a tape deck. I'm really only interested in games, so I'll pull the trigger if I find some interesting ones, and the price is right. Oh, nice shoes in here. A 
good old speak and read. <laughs> Found a bag of uh, Commodore 64 games. Let me know what you're thinking on them. On um, these, up to three dollars or two for five. Two for five on those. Uh -huh. Oh, Lego stuff. Sweet. Yeah, I'm more into like GI Joe stuff anyway. But oh. as a kid, I had them. Yeah, that's why I had a boy. Woo! I get to play <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everyone's going nuts over here. These resellers are pouring through these boxes of movies and games in the hopes of finding gold. In my experience, it's really worth the time it takes to mine them. Oh, you want it? <laughs> want anything good in here? Mm, no. yeah? Not great. <laughs> oh, found a plush Wind Waker Link. What do you collect? I click like old toy stuff, game stuff. That's what I usually look for from like the 80s. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't for sale. It was oh, was it? Oh, okay. This is a Library of Congress tape player for the blind. It's weird, but kind of cool. What do you guys got on the GameCube? Uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks for everything? All the controllers and everything. Do you have any games for it? I sold them already. Oh, okay. Damn. Uh, Damn, damn, damn. All right. Whoa, old beta cam. Oh, Avalon Hill games. Damn, uh -huh. these Panzer Blitz. I think I had the Panzer Blitz. Yeah, I'm taking all these. <laughs> you a fan of them? Anything good in them? Yeah. They don't go for a huge, huge amount. Have fun reselling those board games, dude. Frank and I already have those in our Avalon Hill collection. Hello. Frank. What? Get up. I am up. Oh, we'll get more up. What? What? <laughs> Come on out. It's pretty good one today. There's lots, a lot of DVDs, a decent amount of CDs I saw. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm making it. Okay. You don't think you're making it? No. Oh, okay. I'm disappointed. I'm puttering. You're puttering or not pondering? Puttering rather than so. Oh, okay. All right, I'll stop by later. All right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Eric. How's it going, man? Good, man. Good to see you. I'm guessing this is the game stuff. These guys are tearing through it. Yeah, what are you guys up to? Man. Xbox, PS2 yeah, stuff. You guys find anything today? Decent? Uh, found a couple of... NES games with manual. Oh, we got a Super Nintendo for uh, got 20 bucks. Super Nintendo for 20 bucks. Good condition? Console, Super yeah. clean. What are you asking on this? 25. 25? <laughs> ah, the infamous <laughs> error C3PO boner card. I'm not too hard on getting this. <laughs> get it? Get it? I said hard on. I'll give this beat up Mario plush a good home. <laughs> a little dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cute. Everyone knows it's butters. It's like you're in a shave almost. <laughs> yeah. Nothing happened with that spot? No? No. Um, this guy selling cleaning solution offered to try and clean my Mario for me. It didn't help too much. I like those ASICs. Those breathe. Hey, nope. What are you saying your controllers? 10 a piece or all four of them for 30. What are you asking on these? 5 zero each? They're 150 each on eBay. What? 50 for an electronic quarterback in a beat up box? No, these never go for 150. I called them out on this. Yeah, I'm looking right now. Yeah, looks like you can get it for like 60 in the box. Make me an offer on them. I know I've seen the, the real mint, nice, clean, clean in the box. Some guys were asking, I'm for sure over 100, but. Yeah, but this one isn't exactly a museum piece. Shady. What are you asking the DS's? Uh, that one's 55, 50 bucks. What about on the, uh, the uh, white one? Uh, 40. 40? A VIC-20 modem. I don't think I've ever come across one of these before. Also found Zaxxon for Commodore 64. I picked it up along with a few other Commodore games. Oh, right. Yay, Commodore 64. 10 bucks. I found Armored Core 2 for PS2 in this box for a buck. How much are your Nintendo games? Six. Six each? 
You can always use an extra Genesis Model 2 AC adapter, right? High quality stuff. Does Wario even own another shirt? Flip a coin and that's the odds of finding worthless 90 Star Wars toys at the swap meet each week. Found an uncommon Atari game in here, subscanned by Sega. Combat, combat. Look at that thing. Ah! Look at that beetle. What is that? They're our friends. <laughs> That shuts the door on this flea market madness. Now let's stop by Frank's and see what he's up to. Let me in. On a Sunday, there in front of Hi. Frank. What? No swap me. What's going on? I feel like it. Here, Frank, have an avocado. I didn't feel like it. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. All right. Well, people are disappointed. What are you going to do? Good, I burn my chin. Well, you found a frozen pizza? Bon Appetit is really, and I got coupons. I keep getting coupons for them. There was Avalon Hill games today. Which there, ones? We, Panzer Blitz, which we what have. Frank, you want a water or Yeah, something? Panzer Blitz, which we have. And then there was um, Tactics, which I also have. He was a reseller. I'm like, oh, so you're a fan of the games? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, like, he's like, I can get 50 bucks for these. Right. He also had uh, Axis and Allies. Which I think I have, but that's a good one to play too. That's not Avalon Hill. Oh, we do. Oh, then we can play it. We gotta play these. All right, we'll do swap meet uh, some other time next week. On two weeks, in two weeks from now, I'm in Phoenix. Two weekends from now, I'm in Phoenix yeah, for. Yeah, I'll go but that's what you. <laughs> that's stupid. How about all the, the way it worked out all those times? Yeah. Well. Because Richard wanted to go, I couldn't believe it. I said it to him. He was like, "Oh yeah." He goes, yeah. Because he's in a place where they don't have him any time usually. Well, you know? I didn't even know he was interested at all. Who doesn't like a flea market? It's the best, it's life. I'll find you a broad downtown that will go if it, 